I've always entertained the idea of being a bartender. I like talking to and meeting people, and more importantly, I love stories, especially those about someone's own experiences or life. So, you know, the idea of being a bartender has been pretty interesting to me for quite a while. Slink some drinks, make some cash, and hear all kinds of stories. I'm sure in my head the job is super romanticized and way more glamorous than it actually is, but that doesn't make it any less interesting to me. Now, I never went to get my bartending license, and I haven't pursued the prospect in any real way. Thankfully, Sukumon Games' Valhalla has filled the void of story searching and let me step into the shoes of a bartender in an incredibly interesting story that far into the future. There are a lot of things about Valhalla that make it interesting. There's an overarching story that grows and comes together as you meet more people and hear their own tales. Not all of the stories are connected in a significant way, and sometimes things feel purely coincidental. But the simple fact that these connections exist makes for a world that feels alive and real. Mechanically, drink mixing isn't all that difficult. You'll have a conversation with a customer or two, look up the recipe for their drinks, and then follow the instructions to make them. There are five ingredients you can age a drink or prepare it with ice, you can either mix or blend it depending on how long you shake it for, and you can make a drink big by doubling the ingredients. As you play and learn the drinks, you'll start to memorize their recipes. There doesn't seem to be a timer on making the drinks, though I wouldn't be surprised if some customers complain if you take too long. For the most part, all the mechanics lean very strongly in the direction of just being there for the sake of the story. Making mechanics second to story is an interesting approach, it's one that isn't used often and one that I feel is used incredibly well in Valhalla. There's really no pressure on making drinks, and it adds a bit of stuff to do between the long winds of conversation with customers. It keeps the game relaxing and philosophical in a not-so-subtle way that's very well-planned and meshes fantastically with the story. Valhalla, at its core, is about the conversations and stories between the bartender and her clients. Each person that comes in has their own life and woes, and if you do a good job at serving them, you'll gain some insight into their beliefs and experiences. What I find so interesting about this is how very obvious Obviously and plainly, characters will state their opinions. In most of the conversations, there's no small talk or beating around the bush. It is straight to the point and the points are often quite clear. In reading the conversations, it's clear that the writers have put a lot of either their own beliefs and twists on their experiences into the game, or those of people that they know, making things far more personal and real. The conversations are very often heavy and existential, and they touch on topics that are rarely even thought of in today's entertainment industries. Mind, some topics are simply rare because of the settings, but the ideals represented by them are very real, and each conversation that I've witnessed has been an interesting one to think on. A game like Valhalla is a rare thing, not just because of the setting or the mechanics. This kind of writing, the kind that actually makes you think, is something in quite short supply these days. The game and its creators may masquerade it as waifu bartending in jest, but I find that beneath the surface of personality caricatures and the occasional knock on themselves lies a thought-provoking piece of entertainment that makes a pretty damn good argument for games' art. You can find Valhalla on itch.io, Steam, and the Humble Store for about 15 bucks. If you're looking for some philosophical literature to scratch your brain or to just tin some bar and listen to good music, then this is one for you. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Indie Bites. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more stuff like this. Be sure to check out the other content that we put out on this channel and remember to drop me a line here on Twitter or through email with any game recommendations that you've got. You can find all that stuff down in the description below. I'll see you next time. Bye!